Hi guys, I hope you watched my other two videos and if you haven't yet, then you can go back and look at the number one word problem and number one lesson and watch those two first and then come back here and watch these two. So first I want to say I really miss all my friends. I hope everybody's being safe and healthy and happy at home and helping out their parents, keeping their rooms clean and having fun with their brothers and sisters if you have some at home. So we're going to work on our second word problem today. And then next we'll do our second lesson. I told people in the last video that you guys could leave me comments on my YouTube channel, but it turns out that videos made for kids don't allow for comments to be made. So instead, if you want to ask your parent if you can message me on the Dojo app, instead you can let me know if you solved the problem, if your answer was correct. Um, Amanda even sent me a picture of her strategy, which was so exciting to see. So you could send me a picture like that, tell me what strategy you used, and tell me if you solved it. Okay, so we're gonna start with our word problem for today, which is about Gabby and Lorraine's. It says, Gabby read 15 more pages than Lorraine's. Lorraine's read 38 pages. The book is 82 pages long. Now there's two questions here. A, how many pages did Gabby read? B, how many more pages does Gabby need to finish the book? So we're going to use our regular strategies. I don't have a lot of space because the word problem here took up the whole page. But we're going to be using our read, draw, write strategy. And during the read portion, we'll do our cube strategy, okay? So if you remember what each letter stands up for, you can go ahead and say it out loud when I say it. Um, so I'll read the problem one more time, and then we'll go ahead and start with our reading and our cubes. Gabby read 15 more pages than Lorraine's. Lorraine's read 38 pages. The book is 82 pages long. A, how many pages did Gabby read? B, how many more pages does Gabby need to finish the book? So we'll start with our cube strategy. C stands for circle key numbers. So I'm looking for the key numbers. Say them out loud if you see them. 15, 38, 82. What do you notice about our key numbers? Today we have three key numbers. All right, the U stands for, underline the question. What do you notice about that today? We have two questions. How many pages did Gabby read? And how many more pages does Gabby need to finish the book? Okay, now the B stands for box action words. What is Gabby doing? Gabby read. Lorraine's read. How many pages did Gabby read? How many more pages does Gabby need to read to finish? Okay, the E, evaluate and eliminate. What can we get rid of here that we don't really need to solve the problem? Could get rid of Gabby by Gabby, Lorraine's pages. Okay. Now we're moving on to S. Show your work and check it. And that also takes us into the D in the redraw write strategy, which is drawing our picture. That's part of our solving is through the drawing. So we're going to think about how do we want to represent this problem. Do we want to draw a tape diagram? Do we want to draw a number bond? And first we really want to think about, you know, who's read more pages? Has Gabby read more or has Lorraine's read more? Think about that. It says Gabby read 15 more pages than Lorraine's. So who read more? Gabby. Do we know how many pages Gabby read? We don't. That's something we're looking for. How many pages did Gabby read? Do we know how many pages Lorraine's read? We do. It says Lorraine's read 38 pages, so that we do know. Do we know how long the whole book is? We do. It says the book is 82 pages long. And do we know how many more pages Gabby needs to read to finish the book? That we don't know because that's our question B that we're looking for. So if we've got two questions, we're going to have two answers. Don't forget that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to give you guys a minute to think about what kind of picture you want to draw. 
You can pause the video now. You can draw a diagram, so either a number bond or a tape diagram. And since we have two different problems, there should be two different diagrams. So you can pause the video while you think about how you're going to solve and what kind of strategy you're going to use. Are you going to add or subtract or make groups? And in the meantime, I'm gonna erase and make some space so that I can draw my di diagrams and start solving with you. Okay, so if you're back, I hope that means that you tried solving some of this on your own, and then you can check your work with me. So I'm gonna split up my board into A and B. I saw some of my friends doing that last week and I really loved it because it helps me see where all of our, my work is for A and all of my work is for B and then it helps me find a clear answer for both. All right, so we were looking at Gabby and Lorraine. So I think I'm gonna use a tape diagram. I know that Gabby's piece of tape should be longer because she read more. And Lorraine's piece of tape should be shorter. And I know that Lorraine's read 38 pages. I don't know how many pages Gabby read. What other part of this diagram do I know though? I do know that Gabby read 15 more pages than Lorraine's. So if I'm trying to find out how many pages Gabby read, how can I find this answer? Am I looking for a part or am I looking for the total? I'm looking for a total here of the number that Lorraine's read and 15 more than Lorraine's read, right? Because the story said Gabby read 15 more pages than Lorraine's read. So my number sentence will be 38 plus 15. Then I want to think about how I want to solve this. Vertical method, arrow way, number line, mental math. There's a lot of different ways we could solve. I'm thinking about it. All right, I think I'm going to use a number line. So I've got 38 here on my number line. I'm going to jump 10. Just one 10 here. That'll get me to 48. And then I'm gonna jump five more. And I can count that in my head, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. Here I get an answer 53. 53 what? I have to go back to the question. The question said, how many pages did Gabby read? So my answer has to answer that. Gabby read 53 pages. Make sure I put a period there. Okay, so it looks like I've solved everything for part A. And if you wanted to try a different strategy than a number line, go ahead and see if you get the same answer. If you have enough space or time to try two strategies, that's even better because then you can check your work and make sure that your answer is correct. I only tried one strategy, so it's hard for me to know if my work is right since I haven't done two. Okay, if we're going to go on to B, B asked how many more pages does Gabby need to read to finish the book? So now I'm going to think about this. Am I looking for a part? Am I looking for a total? That's how my diagram is going to help me decide. So maybe I'll do a number bond here. And I'm going to think about the numbers that I know. So I know how long the book is. Is that a gonna, going to be a total or a part? I know how long the whole book is. It's 82 pages for the whole book. So is that a part or a total? 82 is the total number of pages in the book. And now we know over here how many pages Gabby read. Gabby read 53 pages, so she read part of the book. Did she read the whole book yet? Not yet, she just read this part. And how many more does she have to read until she gets to 82? Do we know that? Not yet. So are we looking for a part or a total here? We are looking for a part. So will we be adding or subtracting? Subtraction. So when we subtract, we always need to start with which number? The total. So 82 take away 
53. I'm going to think about how I want to solve this one. So I could use mental math, but I see that this the ones here are less than the ones here, so I don't really have enough to take away. So I know I'm going to have to unbundle or regroup. So I'm thinking about what I'd like to do. And let's see. I think what I'll do is I'll write two different easier equations. So I'm going to write 82 take away 50. And I'll solve that first. If I take away 50, I'm taking away 5 from here, right? So I had 8. And I'm taking away 5. So I have three tens left. And I didn't take away any ones, so how many ones should I have? Still two. I took away 50, but that's not enough. How many more do I still need to take away? I still have to take away three ones. So I have to do 32, take away three. And that's not that hard to do because I can count backwards in my head. 32, 31, 30, 29. And then I get to my answer, 29. 29 what? Let's go back to the question. How many more pages does Gabby need to read to finish the book? So then, if, I need to, if I'm going to write this in a complete sentence, I have to erase to make some more space. I'll get a new color. I'm going to write about Gabby. Gabby needs to read 29 more pages and a period. So check your answer that you got, check it with my answer, see if you got the same. Let me know what strategies you used. And like I said, we're gonna do comments through Dojo instead of on the YouTube videos. All right, thank you so much for doing this with me and I'm gonna make you guys another video for our second lesson and I'll post that next, so make sure you watch that too. Thanks guys.